<laughs> well, I think love can do without my praise. From what I can see, it's perfectly capable of taking care of itself. It has no shortage of suitors. Not that I don't believe in Eros, the god of love, and that I don't think that the spirit is powerful. Since we're talking about love, let us use an example. This boy over here, here is love, or someone temporarily inhabited by the spirit of love. Because now, just for a moment, when I see him, I am struck with the spirit of love. But when I look away, it will be gone, just as his beauty will fade. <laughs> love gives you the illusion of not being alone, and everyone is alone. I'm sorry to say. What about friends? Ah, uh, yes. For a long time, I thought friendship was it. Friendship circulates freely. It seeks to enlarge its circle. It doesn't try to possess beauty or bodies. And unlike a pair of lovers, it has eyes for something other than each other. But there's no point in friends being together if they're not thinking about the whole world. It's simply that there is something more important than love, and that is the whole of human relations. Instead of just a lover, it's many and multifaceted. It is the world itself. 